Hi Mike. You asked the question, any ideas why the square footage is only being displayed on the first floor and not the basement and second floor? And then you've included the Chase full foundation plan. You didn't save the layout. We don't have access to the layout. But I suspect that you're uh, going, clicking on the view in the layout and that's taking you to the plan view, I think. I could be wrong. So let's let's look at this for a sec. So right now we have the basement and there's no area. I go to the first floor, still no area, and I go to the second floor and still no area being displayed. So I'm not seeing what you described in your question. However, that being said, let's uh, take a look and see what's actually being displayed here. So we'll open the room layer properties and here the air, area, standard area and interior area is not being um, displayed because it's not turned on. So let's turn on the interior area and see what happens. And there it is. There's the area and that's the basement. First floor, there's the area. Second floor, there's the area. So this is seems to be working. Um, I, I think I may have solved the uh, the problem, but the, the big thing is is to, to keep in in mind that Chief Architect saves the layer settings according to whatever you've saved here. So if I go to, for example, the uh, the uh, floor plan view dimension, note the walls disappear in this view. <laughs> And the area disappears as well. So let's let's take a look at uh, what you have, say, for the plan shell view. So again, no walls. Strange, but um, ceiling plan view. Now you've got walls, but no room descriptions. So this has all to do with how you save the layer settings in um, Chief Architect. Hope this solves your problems. Anyhow, bye for now.